Welcome back to the adventure. Today we are talking about one of the worst things a YouTuber can do for the retro computing community. As computers continue to age, there are more components that can fail. The availability of replacement parts also continues to decline. These things impact the supply side of valuation. Then we have demand. I enjoy videos that spotlight old computers and show them being restored. Even better when they're running and shown in action. These videos have the unfortunate side effect of increasing the cost of those systems. Let's take a look at a clip where this happened. I mean, actually, it's a miracle I found a working one of these. I could have substituted some other board with GeForce 4 MX graphics on board. But to preserve the integrity of the build, I way overpaid some jackass who runs an eBay store who thought this thing was worth over $100 because I tweeted I was looking for one, so his listing got a bunch of hits. Ugh. Now let's take a look at one of the worst things a YouTuber can do for the retro computing community. Uh, do you want to do the bounty now? We got a bounty, yes. ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. This is the Hot Wheels PC. I, I want to do a video. I've actually wanted to do a video about it for a long time. There's also a, a Barbie PC, and I'll accept either. I will give you five grand for a full set. 5K. The value of something is ultimately what someone is willing to pay for it. In this case, a dollar value was placed on a complete set of the Hot Wheels PC. Understandably, the purpose of the bounty is to acquire the system to feature it in a video. The downside is, the cost of the Hot Wheels PC and its accessories skyrockets and remains high indefinitely. A high cost means these computers are less accessible. That is why placing a bounty on an old PC is one of the worst things a YouTuber can do for the retro computing community. Thanks for stopping by. See you next video.